hundreds of people stood in the rain Sunday night, surrounded by police with nowhere to go. This is sort of when we started to get pushed. Tara Defoe and Lucius Deshose were among them. They'd been out for a simple walk that night, but they found themselves cornered by police. Very aggressive and very intimidating. They were screaming, move. Um, they were pushing people with their shields. They had their shields up. Nobody was trying to antagonize the police at all. The police were antagonizing the people by confining us into this small space and then leaving us to be exposed in the rain for four hours. Over the G20 weekend, police have been criticized for the heavy-handed approach, blamed with turning Toronto into a police state and trampling on Canadians' right to freedom of speech. People were arrested in the free speech zone. They were, t they were encircled by riot police and told that they would be arrested without any opportunity to leave. Hundreds of those arrested were brought here to the G20 detention center. Now, civil liberties groups say they're concerned that police use these large-scale arrests as a tool for crowd control rather than to apprehend individuals actually involved in illegal activity. Amnesty International is calling for an independent review of police action. The heavy, ever presence and, and often very intimidating police presence, which we think put a chill on much of the legitimate protest. But also some very real concerns clearly arising with respect to police tactics. I'm very proud of, of the incredible work that our people uh, did this weekend. They faced an enormous provocation. We apprehended dozens and dozens of anarchists, criminal anarchists, coming into that, joining that protest in possession of weapons, Molotov cocktails. Others agree. They didn't get near the fence. Uh, every time they tried, the police were way ahead of them, and, and they just checkmated them at every point. Still, for those who felt it was game over last night, they're now feeling something else, outrage. I think that a lot of civil liberties were broken um, this weekend. I think that the police abused the power that they had in the city. Um, I think it's really, really scary. I think it speaks to a big shift. In, in our government and in our society that something like this can happen. Jennifer Powell, Fox Global News.